Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin and tonight we're at Tankersley Golf Club where we're going to be playing a free old vlog and we're going to be testing some clubs that we've got for sale. You're all going to have a chance to buy these and uh, we're starting off on a long par four so we're going to be teeing off with drivers. What are you picking? Well, I'm going to put mine back for a start. <laughs> you can't use your own. Well, I've already seen which one we got, Maverick. It's a bit of a real deal on the course tonight. You're playing Maverick. Why not? This is an absolute bargain, by the way, for anybody that's an extra stiff shaft. Um, they, are all, they, they are all right-handed, obviously. We can't play left-handed. I'm going to go Sim. I'm going to go Sim 2. Oh, it's, a, it's a bit whippy, but... So, Dan, what spec have we got? Going for Maverick, 10 side shaft. 10 side blue. Yeah. Extra stiff. It's the TX extra stiff. So this is for someone is that really extra strong. Stiff? Yeah. It is, isn't it? Extra stiff. Yeah, 60 gram extra stiff. Wow. What loft have we got? Uh, it's on nine degrees. It's nine degrees. It's a sub zero this is, so it's for a low handicap golf. For somebody with a high uh, you know, somebody who's trying to keep a low spin ball flight, headwise, no sky marks. Yeah. Yet, yeah, that is a, a good, fair thing to say. If we keep it like that, Dan, I'm going to sell that for 170 plus postage. All right, which is an absolute bargain. Right. Condition-wise, grip excellent. Shaft no rubbing, and good. head no sky marks. So I'd say all around seven out of ten with head cover. User 170. I'm going to be using TaylorMade Sim Max Two. This is an absolute perler. No sky marks, no sort of marks. Really good condition. Nine degree regular. Looks like new that one. Yeah, it does look good. Uh, no shaft rubbing. I'm going to sell that one for 230 plus postage. Sounds. No pressure, Dan, but this needs to go straight out middle. Pressure's on you, isn't it? I'm still unbeaten on channel. <laughs> he says. Well, it's in play. Mm. It's down that right hand semi, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. So we're off. Have you stuck all them balls in your bag? Yeah, do you want some? <laughs> We've just done a chippy video, which I'll tag. We've used all my balls and he snifled them again. I'm sure you did that last time. Oh, calm down. So I'm using t this. This one's actually James's ball. Tag him in it, guys. I, it, we, we did a bit of a vlog and it, uh, it ended up in bunker and he left it. And I went and got it, we were fuming. That were on his wedding day, that I nicked his golf ball. <laughs> his picks. It's a regular shaft, so I'm going to have to be tame with it, I think. Suit your swing speed, I think. Cheers, pal. It's a good strike. It's gone a little bit down left. Not bad. I'm blaming that on, on shaft, but sounded fantastic. Yeah, good strike. You really player. get a good sound off these. We know it carbon fibre crown. What have you got, Dan? 167. That'll be an hybrid for you, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> but it's quite a bit of wind, isn't there? What do you say? What are you hitting? I'm near a seven. Seven. Big boy. A solid strike it's just missing left side pulled it might set you up to use wedge that Dan what we've got for sale <laughs> do you need it lasering or no I've got laser so Dan has got a shot on me he's off 10 so he just gets a shot on first hole tonight and then uh, last two holes is off off scratch 157 how far did you have in I had 167. You pulled yours, so you just got a bit hey, more distance. Yeah. <laughs> and you just kept it in bounds. It was definitely good. that shaft. <laughs> but I'm going to go same. I'm going to go seven because it's uphill. Yeah, a bit of wind. A bit of wind. That's right. That's perfect. That's right at it. Not what we need to see, is it? <laughs> that should be. I'd say that's pretty much decent. <laughs> Dan, just quickly talk us through what you've got. Come and show us close up. 
What have we got? The Wilson FG Tour 60. 60. I'm sure that's got a bit of stampage on it. Has it? PMP, raw. Does it say 58 on it? Yeah. Yeah, it were a tour players this and it's been measured the loft. It's actually 58. Okay. Plays 58. What shafts in it, Dan? KBS. KBS. I'm going to go £30 plus delivery. If you're in UK, delivery is usually under £10. And outside, you know, UK, I'd have to get you a price on that one. Well, it's on the green. Is it going to spin back? No. Good shot. I think what we can say about that wedge, Dan, its grooves are still good. It's spun back. Spun a bit. <laughs> so he's going to do Matt Fitzpatrick. Are you going to do it? Am I? Yeah, I'm here. I've come up short. I'm going to use it. As long as we're both but doing it. You're using your own wedge here, aren't you? Yep. No excuses. Good strike. Oh, don't go in. Don't go in. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. It's gimme. We've adopted it this, haven't we? You can have that one, Dan. Yep. It's been a while. Even me, Dan, like, you know, when you find something new, I've got to get up and down, haven't I? That's so... I don't strike them that well. I've struck it that well, it's spun up on me. What we like to see. Right. I've got a putter for sale. What we got? It's a Odyssey Black Series tour design. Looks well, a bit like a Newport, doesn't it? It's a milled. Good looking it's got one. a brand new grip on it, which is like a mid-sized grip. Uh, head cover's Jay Lindbergh, for any of you golf geeks out there. It's not the matching head cover, but it's a nice little JL number. We're gonna go on this one. 110 plus postage. What are you down for, Dan? Uh, one, two, three, five. Five, so this Shot. is for the four. I need this for half then. Good. Good. See if we can stay undefeated. Right, let's make sure we get it there. Oh, that's a little bit firmer than my putter. Probably that, should have had a warm up. That one up to you, Dan. Oh, that's in bag. You can use anything in bag. You can even have a look in my bag if you want. As long as it's not being used tonight, you can use any club. And it's into breeze. I mean, a sensible club to use would be going about sort of 200, 220 laying up at that mound. But it, you can't hit an eight, are you? You're going to what? I said I can't hit an eight iron. <laughs> what club have you got? I'm going to try this little PXJ hybrid, 19 degrees. What condition is it in? It looks like brand new to me. Looks very good. Show me a close up at the head. Just give me a little spin. Head's good. Yeah, 19 degree. What shaft we got? KBS hybrid shaft. Stiff? Yes, 80 gram. I think we're going to go Lampkin on that one. Grip. 100 plus delivery. Oh, what model is it? They'll, be, they'll want to know the model. It's a 0317X. 17X, so low spinning for your sort of mid handicap to low handicap golfer again. Yeah. Oh, he's flushed it. I lost it. Now, Dan likes to buy a club, so it wouldn't surprise me if by end of tonight he's making some offers on some of these. <laughs> but where he struck that one. I never saw it down, though. <laughs> We've got a twine in Dan's bag, and not often you find a twine with a regular shaft. It's a Project X 5.0, grip's fantastic. It's a Mizuno MP18 MMC Fly High MMC. 2 iron. Which I believe is an 18 degree, correct me if I'm wrong. It's forgiving. It is literally like brand new, isn't it's it? Brand new, I yeah. think this has come off the shelf. 
Um, it's going to have a couple of hits tonight and that's about it. We're going to go £99 plus delivery on them. Get in the comments, guys. What are my prices like? Where am I on price? I, I'm usually, you know, we're from Yorkshire. Everybody here likes a bargain. So I do try to keep that consistent and bring you guys some bargains as well. Right, I'm going to go up that right hand side. I'm going to account for the shaft being regular and just... A bit down right. Let it, yeah, let it just naturally draw in. Oh, that's, look at that. That's an absolute stinger. Yeah, good ball. I, I might be up, behind mine, that. up with your hybrid. We've got a little bit of wind up here tonight, guys. And uh, I have noticed that on some of my recent vlogs, so I, I'm considering a little mic upgrade. I'm using the Saramonic Sound Blink 500. If any, there's any vloggers out there watching, or you know, people in that field, get in the comments if you know of some good mics within a reasonable price, of course. <laughs> it's a lovely strike, sure. straight at it. I'm glad I'm not giving you a shot on this hole. I think it's short or good. For a man that, you know, doesn't have any budget when it comes to golf, what irons did you go for as a 10 handicapper? I went for the T200 after you got me a fitting with Titleist. T2, oh yeah, you was one of the first people in Will, weren't you, to get a set? Oh yeah, so, yeah. And even then, them. you still waited months, didn't you? Yeah, but so did everyone else. So. Yeah, true. What you got? I've got Bang on 100, which I'm going to go 54. So you only did me by 12 yards. Yeah. Probably just got a bit more run with fairway. We'll have to bring some second-hand wedges and irons next time, won't we? I've got some lovely left-hander stuff as well, you know, which I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a vlog on soon. Be the club. Oh yes. Look good to me. It looks a good distance, Dan. I think we're gonna be putting out for birdies. Question. Yep. Live tour. PGA Tour, what we're saying? Uh, I understand it for some players going. Yeah. Like, I don't know, Richard Bland, people like that. I'm not sure on the bigger names. I think that's the consensus we're yeah. getting, you know, from a lot of fans. The only thing annoys me is the excuse is that they haven't gone for money. They may as well just come out and say. Exactly, yeah, I agree on not? that. I agree on that. But uh, I thought I'd get your opinion. I'm starting to think, you know, that because I've done a bit of a, a poll on this and it's a very split, uh, you know, it's split. I mean, just favouring PGA uh, Tour. But I think it's like two events for a different market of golfer, isn't it? I, don't I think you've got different. your serious golf, your king golf for what's actually see some competitive golf. And then I guess you've got like your may, may more modern golfer or, yeah. you know, somebody who wants more entertainment and, you know, a bit more... It, it was just different. It was different, weren't yeah, it? exciting and different, so... So you get to use your own putter, do you? Have you got a putter? <laughs> no, you're all right. You're all right. You can use your own. I just want to... I'll wrap match up and then we can... Right, OK. We can use something else. No chance. Oh, <sighs> wow. He thought he got it. I thought he got it. And you thought he got it. But I didn't. Pick that one up. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I've never been as happy to see a ball lip out. We need to get... What do you need to get in? Well, we need to get these shots in quick because we've got Sharman over here and we've got Nick Poppleton who's just qualified for, for last stages at Open Qualifying. So we need to get these in, Dan. We don't want them heckling us. What are you using? I'm going to go for a drive. That used to game. R7? R7, absolute beast. They're still fetching good money, these, you know. What loft is it? Ten and a half. And what shaft? It is a stiff. Ten and a half stiff. We're going to go on that one, £40 plus postage. Any sky marks? I don't think there is, is it? It's good, Nick. No, no shaft rubbing. It's not got original cover, though, guys. 
So we're finishing on par five, four, 516 yards. I'm gonna go G5, nine degree. I used to gain one of these as well. It's the NV stiff shaft. It has got some shaft rubbing on, unfortunately. We're gonna put that in there for 30 pound plus postage. You know, ideal for anybody on a budget. I'm sure we've got some subscribers that have got into golf recently and might be using package set, you know, drivers. So not bad value. Right, get yourself teed off, Dan, because these are just putting out and I, like I said, they will have killers. Short, what a beauty. What a beauty. That's going to really bound down there. I think you could be in range for two. Yeah, we'll take that. We've timed this lovely, by the way. We're just going to get away with this. This grip feels a little bit thin. I think I'm going to set up for that drawer again. Oh, I've munched that. That is munched. Just talking about Nick there, he's just passed us on buggy. And uh, guys, what a player this guy is. I don't know if you've heard of him. If you're obviously not from Sheffield and Yorkshire, you might not have heard of Nick. He did play Open last year, um, which were his first ever Open. And I don't think he played as good as he would have liked, but I played with him locally. And wow, he, he's as good as I played with Dan. I've never seen him play, but I've heard people talk about him. Honestly, and he's, you know, he's got, he had such a, an attacking mentality, you know, when I played with him. And I wonder if, I wonder if that little bit more experience might have just wised him up a little bit for this year. But uh, he's certainly got no fear and he can put. So keep an eye out for that name. You know, he's, he's in final stage of qualifying and believe me, he can go seven, eight, nine deep. He's not scared. I think he's had it in double figures before. So uh, good luck to him and uh, we'll keep an eye on him. Bunkers. Oh, you're in it, unfortunately. I'm really sorry about that, Dan. I'm absolutely devastated for you, but you won't have far in. Oh, wow, what a strike out of there, by the way. Fantastic, that, Dan. I think that's going to be left down below right territory as well. Great shot. Fizz Patrick could be proud of that one, bud. So we'd actually walk past mine and that just shows you how much hitting the fairway helps, doesn't it? Because I've landed a semi-rough and I'm probably a good 20 yards short of where you were and, and I struck it really well. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use an hybrid though, am I? So, yeah, I'm going to have to just hit an iron down to where that tree is and... Oh, no, actually, no, I'm going to go for it, Dan. I'm going to go. Oh, certainly bailed left. I never got it set off right enough, I don't think. It won't be far away. Well, Dan thinks that that one's his, that's just short left, which is there. And he's thinking that mine could be in this front bunker, but I, I didn't know if I'd uh, set it off on, online, Dan. Please, imagine. No. Oh, the dream's dead. It's in the Valley of Sin. <laughs> We're going to actually get a chance to use his left below right, Dan. And it's you first. What a strike. You know what the difference is? Because you're striking it clean, they're spinning, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, that were a 52, isn't it? It's checked it's a bit, hasn't it? it? Yeah. It's because we're not used to getting the right loft. We're used to knocking the loft off it. I think, and I think that really does get the club using the natural loft a lot more. Something we're going to have to get used to, but something we're really happy with because we're striking it clean. You grab this. So I'm going to be trying it now with a 60 degree. Well, I'm not sure it's meant for this, you know. I'm not sure it's meant for this, but I am trying to control speed here. I don't want to get sort of too, you know, and strike is an issue for me. So 
I am going to try it. I'm not scared. It don't feel as natural, you know. I'm going to try it. So much loft. Trust it, guys, trust it. Oh, I've trusted it all right. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. To be fair, the interaction with the floor there was fantastic. Better than what I think it would have been if I'd have done it traditional. I mean, the guys on channel have seen how bad my chipping is. I don't need to tell them that. I'm happy with that. No, it would never, ever high enough. I know you're going to do a James Robinson on me here. I can't remember the last time I missed one of these. <laughs> and birdie. He's pulled it. Now, there's a lot of meat on that, Dan. <laughs> There's a lot of meat on that, but I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna be a good sport. He got it anyway. So we finished in a tie, and we're just gonna whip through what we've got left. What we haven't managed to use tonight. What have you got in your bag, Dan? Big Bertha Callaway three wood. Big Bertha Callaway three wood. Plus, so this is for somebody that wants a strong free wood. I think it's about a 13 degree with a firm shaft. It's an oldie but goodie. Maybe somebody, I bet this Stenson would use this, wouldn't he? We're going to go 25 plus postage on that one with head cover. And it is mint. We've got the Rogue 4. This is going to fly off, I think. This is going to fly 21 degree. It has got a little dint in the crown here at the top on the toe. Doesn't affect performance. It's going to be a bargain. We're synergy regular shaft. Somebody on a budget here, we're going to go £40 plus postage. That would definitely be worth somewhere like £99 if it didn't have that little sort of dint here. It's not a lot, but it's enough to put some people off. Um, in my bag, I don't think we did the G20 Rescue Club. We've got a little G20 17 degree rescue. Um, love the little club, great condition. A little bit of shaft rub here with a regular shaft. So it's like a five wood loft. Somebody that maybe struggles with fairway woods. Um, you know, maybe driver and wants something to tee off with. We're gonna go 30 pound plus postage on that one. I think that gets us for everything, doesn't it? Oh, it. there's an yeah. M2 driver in here. Did we, did we use that? M2, 2017 M2 driver. Um, still people using these on tour. Um, not in the best condition, it's a 10.5 degree. It's a regular shaft. There's a little bit of damage here on the hosel. No sort of sky marks, but generally, you know, a bit of wear on bottom. Probably six out of 10 I'd grade that down. I'm gonna go 99 pound plus postage on that. Still a so, classic uh, driver. It's a classic, isn't it? I mean, they're still fetching 150 yeah. in a, a mackerel at Nick, aren't they? And I think that's it. That brings us through everything we've got tonight. I'll put the contact details in the, in the description. I know if you're watching on telly that you don't get to see that, but you'll have to just whip on your laptop and um, thanks again we've Cheers, drawn guys. and uh, enjoyed that it's been nice to play half decent playing well you know yeah. with clubs that we've never even hit before so and there's definitely something in this new chipping stroke left below right we're going to continue with that with you're buzzing aren't you with that loving it i know you are because i know you can get a bit upset with your chipping and Just if you stop. crack that chipping like you know he could be a low low handicap golfer because so. when you analyse your game most of your shots are out green aren't they that you drop yeah that's where I'm losing my shots so we'll give it a few weeks then we'll have a catch up with Dan and see how he's getting on and see if he's seeing if you're persisting with that stroke and uh, yeah I hope you've enjoyed that tonight guys and we'll see you in a few days time bye <laughs>